Here we're fitting a cone, a gutta percha cone. And anybody that's done any significant amount of warm gutta percha realizes that based upon the size of the apical foramen and your various clinical skills based on experience, it's important to take that gutta percha cone and cut it back, creating what we refer to as apical tugback that allows us to not only gauge the size of the apical foramen, but it also lets us determine how far back we want to cut our cone. Because as we heat that gutta percha and condense it vertical, vertically, it's actually going to move closer to the apical foramen. So in essence, the larger the size of the apical foramen, the closer that we want to, the further that we want to be from that, and more, and we want to cut off the cone more. Here's an illustration of using Kerr Extended Working Time Sealer. I like that mix to a certain consistency and then place my gutta percha cone right on the edge of the mixing pad so that I can literally roll it. And as I roll it, I make sure that it's circumferentially all the way around the gutta percha cone. In this particular illustration, what I'm trying to show is I'll take a gutta percha cone. Instead of placing my sealer in the root canal system, with a paper point, which sometimes leave little uh, bits of, of paper fibers in the root canal system. I like to place my sealer in there with a cone that I refer to as a sealer cone. So I like to do that first and then place my master cone. In this particular case, because of the size of this particular tooth, I believe this tooth is like a, a number 10, number 7, something like that. It's a very large root canal system anterior tooth. And so I've placed more than one gutta percha cone in there so that when I sear it off, I'm capturing more rubber as I condense it vertically. Here's the calamus heat tip and the plugger tip. I'm going to sear that off right off at orifice level. And then I'm going to take a larger size calamus plugger and immediately capture that gutta percha and condense it vertically. Obviously, there's a little bit of sealer with it. My assistant will take that cone from me here and just, pardon me, that, that calamus plugger might go to a smaller one, might go to a larger one with the vivid uh, illustration and being able to see it so well through a microscope gives you a, a tremendous amount of confidence in making certain that you're capturing all of the rubber in that access cavity and condensing it vertically. Now we're going to take the calamus heat plugger tip, and we're going to drive it down into the root canal system, condensing it vertically, and also creating tremendous hydraulic pressure, and then immediately following it up with another calamus plugger, a hand plugger, that allows us to, again, condense that gutta percha, that warm gutta percha apically and vertically, and allows us to capture the maximum amount of three-dimensional anatomy in the root canal system. Now we're removing with the calamus heat tip another aliquot of gutta percha, then going to a smaller calamus plugger, and condensing that gutta percha again vertically, capturing the maximum amount of lateral and tertiary anatomy in the root canal system. Sometimes you think a system will be relatively simple because it's a single canal. And if we've done a great job of disinfection, disinfection, if we've done a great job of being able to digest all of the anatomy out of the root canal system, it's amazing what we find when we take a final radiograph. And that's where the thrill of the fill comes in. We're able to see some anatomy there that we just never thought possible. 